now then, welcome back to another episode of Avant on the FTOG server. Whoa, I can move my mouse faster than I can move my head. Look at that. Wow. Okay, well, that sidetracked me slightly there. Um, we've had a few problems on the server uh, just recently. Um, I'm just uh, doing some spoilers. Look, there's uh, Toddy the Body. I think it's Toddy the Body is over there. He's in there now, so Toddy the Body is doing some work on a spawn hub. So that's as much of a spoiler as you're going to get for right now. Uh, but you'll see that in his episodes, no doubt. Um, we've had a problem, though, with Slime Island. You know those big, fat, green things that come in the sky and have some special slime liquid in them? Well, they have been causing us issues. Um, to the point where we've tried everything. Uh, well, I say we, as in Torgal has tried everything. He's tried everything possible to make the the problem go away. And the last resort has been to just simply remove Tinker's Construct. Yep. Remove Tinker's Construct and also reset our... Um, achievements. Reset our achievements. Now it's a long and complicated thing of the problem and stuff and things happen in modded Minecraft and you don't always know what's what, where and who and why things are happening. You don't always know and that's just the way it is. And well we have to now accept the fact that we have no Tinker's Construct in the pack. Now I was using Tinker's Construct quite a bit not only for the crafting tables, because the crafting tables were awesome. I had a crafting table there, I had like three crafting tables set up along here. Everywhere I've got a crafting table location, I don't have a crafting table anymore. I'm back to vanilla crafting tables. That's issue number one. Issue number two was torches. The Tinker's Stone torches. I was kind of using them quite a bit. Uh, all around the place so I've just been going around and having a little check about let's have a little looky around here looks okay around here doesn't look too bad let's go uh, down to the smeltery now in the smeltery I'm pretty sure yep yep in the smeltery I used lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of torches oh, why can't I place these torches now uh, I can place them there I just can't place them there. Why can't I place them on those? Because they're now slabs? What? They're, they're classed as slabs? They're classed as slabs. And they're classed as slabs. When did that happen? Uh, okay, I filled them in with slabs. So, yeah, I did. And I couldn't put... I can't put torches on the side of slabs even though they're full blocks. Come on, Basalt. Get yourself sorted out. Environmental tech. That is your issue. Not mine. Okay, well, yeah, so all of this needs relighting. Yep, there's that. My smeltery room itself. Yep, well, there's no smelteries anymore. So I'm going to have to come up with another method of sorting out the things. All of the things. It means I've got no stock of any of the Tinker stuff anymore. Hello. Update your lighting, please. Thank you. Come on, and that one. Yep. <laughs> Weird. Oh, uh, yeah, so my uh, smelteries are gone, which means my entire um, system that I was planning to put down here has gone as well. Uh, not too much of an issue, but still an issue. Uh, all my Tinker's tools have gone. My big, fat, awesome fortune sword has gone. Yep. Yeah. Uh, could be worse, though. Could be worse. Could be the end of the world as we know it. Actually, I don't want to put them in there. I don't want to get dumping stuff in the wrong chest just for the sake of dumping stuff in the wrong chest. Let's throw that in there. Okay, yeah. And now every time I look over that side towards the new spawn hub, I'm starting to get frame lag. Can you feel it? You can feel it as well. Surely you can feel it as well. When I'm pointing in that direction. I don't know. I don't like to say for sure, but chiseling bits has become quite an issue with me at the minute. I've loved it, but the more you put into it, the less you get out. The more you do, the less you get. There's a there's a place for a torch right there as well. Let's uh, plunk on there. Does that cover it? Yep. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, so I've just been checking. The Tinker's torches have been replaced by normal torches, and we all look good now. Um, my next issue then was storage and crafting. Previously, having a crafting table next to a chest was good for me to do crafting and stuff in certain locations. I had a, I had a one here for crafting things like the diamonds out of the agricultural expansion stuff, and I had one here uh, next to this chest with all my crafting ingredients and stuff in. But obviously I can't do that anymore, so I've got to figure out a new method, and it may be a much better method at that as well. Maybe a much better method, hopefully. So today I want to build one of these, um, where is it, modular storage. I've never used the RF Tools modular storage, but I've heard good things about it, so I want to try that out. Uh, so for it, I'm going to need to get a machine frame, which is some lapis and some bits of this and that, and my iron. Oh yeah, good point actually. I do need to go back and get some of my stock from the mining dimension because I didn't do that earlier. Uh, make one of those. And this is then a chest, some redstone and some quartz. Do I have quartz? I do have the redstone. Do I have uh, the quartz? If I don't have quartz, then I'm stuck, aren't I? There's some quartz. That's enough. Okay. And then we can craft that up. Modular storage. Oh, I need the chest as well. I have got a ton of chests in here. Somebody mentioned the other day, actually, that uh, uh, they laughed at me. Thank you very much. I think it was Strudel. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, sometimes during the middle of the episode, just literally while you're running around doing everything, you, uh, you, you miss key and obvious things. Hey, hey, it doesn't need attaching to power. Okay, I didn't know it need, didn't need attaching to power. But I got the achievement get, storing stuff. Awesome. Oh, man. Give me that block back. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of frame rate lag. I'm going to try a little relog. See, looking in that direction, I still get okay frame rate. Looking in this direction, okay. But then at some point, somewhere, something happens. And I lose a lot of frame rate. Not a big deal, though. But still, uh, let's put this here. Let's just put it right there. So what do I do with it? How do I store stuff in it? I can't put stuff straight in it. So what do I have to do? I presume I have to add in bits and pieces into here, such as these upgrades and things, right? So a storage module, uh, storage module, here we go, tier one, requires all of this stuff sorted out. And I can then upgrade it even further to a tier 2 with a tier 1 inside. To a tier 3 with a tier 2 inside. So I should be okay to make a tier 1. Because it's only one bit of iron and another chest. So I should be pretty good with that. Let's get another chest or two or three. And start thinking about setting this up. I need it just to be at least basic, don't I? First age. Okay, and now if I click on it. And put it in somewhere. I put it in there yeah so a tier one storage there we go and now can i put stuff in there yes i can okay so now i can put all my stuff in this uh i think i can change the way whether they're listed or in columns or in yeah icons so there's a few changes that i can make there as well which is good but can i also do the the, the like the pattern crafting stuff yes i can okay and can i take that out of there now or craft one and it comes into my inventory. Lovely. Let's put that in there. Let's go with a tier 2. Yeah, I can do that as well. Good, good. I can take that out. Craft one. I need some gold in there for that. So let's grab all of these things. Put all of these things away in the storage. And hopefully everything will work beautifully from now on. Everything will work wonderfully. It shall just smoothly and efficiently craft things and I'll never lose things again. There's uh, separate, separate stacks of nuggets there. It's coming in separate stacks. It doesn't like multi-stack them, which is a bit weird. But anyway, craft one of those. And now if I put that in there, do I upgrade? Yes, I do. Ah, I see this has the contents of that on it. Okay. So can I have another storage slot somewhere close by? Is there another storage place? There's this remote storage, which I kind of like. Uh, did that have thing in? Let's do 
Oh, I need a machine frame first for that. Machine frame, that. Craft one. Craft one. Oh, I've run out of iron. Dang it. Okay, we well, was going so well. Now I've got to do a little bit of running around to go and get my stuff. Um, I believe my iron was actually in here. Actually, I might have already made something. Whoa, 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 whoa. How come this is not lit anymore? I'm sure I just lit this up, didn't I? It wasn't showing. Let's see which one we need. That one there. Yeah, that's better. Wow, that was changed. And did I have some iron left in there? No. So it was all in the smeltery, or maybe not. I don't know. I got some iron in here. Uh, copper tin, tin ore. Nope. I had smelted all my iron up and used it all in a previous thing. So I do need to go. Thank you. I do need to go to the mining world and get all of my loot so I can uh, muster it all up and start doing some more crafting bits up in here. Alrighty, so remote storage requires some power. I'm not sure what it does exactly, but I'm going to take this storage out of there. I'm going to put it into there, put that into that, that into that. And now does that move all the stuff over? No. Cross-dimensional access disabled. Cross-dimensional access enabled. Okay. Uh, is this going to have stuff in it that I can use? I don't know. Can I use it from here? No. Nope. I'll put that back in there. Okay. So, I officially don't know what I'm doing with this. So, let's have a look at the tools manual. A book with some redstone. That's my next bet. Um, as the redstone I've got, the book, I get the book out of there. There we go. And book with redstone, that thing, do it. Thank you, craft one. Cheers. All right, so let's see what it says about these things. So we've got the uh, power storage. That's for storing power. Okay, yeah, coal generator, liquid, RF monitor. Can I check this again? Storage system. Okay, so I can do this. There are three tiers, 100, 200, 300. You can insert modules to make the chest work better with various types of items. When you remove the storage module from the module, the storage box, the contents will be copied to the module. The various item modules allow you to sort the group of items, blah, 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 blah. With this block, you can make a storage module available remotely. You can put up to four storage modules in the remote storage block. When... Uh, then you can create remote storage module items. These need to be linked first to the right storage item. To do that, place the remote storage module in the appropriate slot next to the item. You can then use the remote storage module by clicking it with a tablet, or you can insert the module in a modular chest block. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, there's nothing else in here, is there? No, modular storage, there's power storage, storage scanner, and that's it. The storage scanner is a block that can scan the surrounding area for inventories, chest, furnaces, device, basically anything that holds items and show them in the list. You can then select the inventory in that list and it will display the contents of the inventory. That kind of works. I've seen that working before. People have used that to access different inventories, but it doesn't necessarily pull out to do crafting like this, which could be an issue can I get rid of that now yeah okay um, I can store recipes as well which is nice in here that's cool I like that but what are these other slots here this is a generic storage module this module extends the modular storage block with support for sorting items in general extends okay uh, or dictionary remote storage module this module for the module storage block this module supports a remote inventory. Link another storage module in the remote storage block. Okay, let's see about making one of those. Can I make one? I need some iron, some more quartz as well. Oh, dang it. Okay, well, I've got the iron smelting, so I'm okay with iron. Quartz, though, I don't think I've got any more quartz at all. So I'm going to need to go and do a run around for the quartz. I would love it if the black quartz worked as normal quartz. That would be awesome. But no, it does not. And there's nothing in here. And I'm pretty sure I haven't got any around and about anywhere. So I'm going to have to go and get some. Okay, so let's see if I can get this to work, right? Well, 
Judging by the pictures here, it's fairly self-explanatory. You place the storage module that you want to queue up here. This is content ID 12, 0 of 200 stacks. And this one here, which is now been converted. I put that in and it converted to that. Right, so now I've got this module tier 2. Right, I've made another one of these modular storage, which I presume I could have anywhere. If I put that there, right, and just grab, I don't know, some blocks. Just grab some random blocks, some cobble. Because I haven't got any cobble in the system. Some andesite, some alabasta, and put those into that particular storage. Uh, take my cooked salmon back out, thank you. Put that into there. Now, if I go into here and put this remote storage in, can I add a remote storage in? I can add a remote storage in there. Press shift. Storage module block. This supports remote invalid. Link another storage module in the remote storage block. Okay. Cycle to the next storage module. I forgot. Can I have more than one storage module there? Okay. Cycle to the next storage module. I don't have more than next storage modules. Show groups. Sort on count. Oh, wow. There's all sorts of things going on here now. Compact equal sizes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this does not go into here at all. Okay. Well, that was my idea anyway. So this storage module is for the modular storage block. Yes. This module supports a remote inventory. Link another storage module in the remote storage block. Well, that's the remote storage block. How... Yeah, so I've got that in there. That works in there, yeah. It's got power. That was to do that, yeah. Cross-dimensional access disabled, enabled. So I did cross-dimensional access. That was all sorted. And then what do I do with it? Where do I put it? I thought if I put it in one of these, then that would be good. Because that, that is connected to this storage. So the remote access. I'd put that in here somewhere. Or do I have to click it? Uh, place this module in a storage module tablet to access the contents. Storage module tablet. Okay. Okay. A tablet. Um, tablet. That. That thing there. Okay, so we make a block of that. Craft one of those. Stick that in the storage. Okay, that one there. That. We want to craft four of those. Put them in there. I like the crafting four and that business. That's pretty cool. And then we've got that, but we're short the emerald. So I need to go and get an emerald, unless I've got another spare one in here. Uh, no. I know where I can get emeralds from, though. It's not very hard. I'll be back. Okay, there we go. Just went over to non sanities to get one quickly. There we go. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Not that. Oh, man. That thing there. That's what I wanted. I've put another remote storage there, though. Okay, so shift. Hold shift. What do I do with it? Press it. Tablet contains no storage thing. Pre how do I add the storage thing, then? Do I put it in... I don't put it in there. It doesn't look right to go in there. Can I put that on there? Can I craft them together? What do I do? It doesn't make it very simple. Ah, there we go. Okay, linked. Unlinked. That's that to that. Unlinked, linked, and not enough energy to open the contents. Okay, can I charge it in this? I can't even put it in that. Okay, so I'm going to have to charge it up in here then, am I? Yep, going to charge it, charge it, charge it. Okay, now it says unlinked, but remote storage module not linked. Okay, do I link it to this? Do I link it to this somehow? Uh, shift click it on there. Not linked. Did I put the wrong one in? I put the wrong one in, didn't I? Okay, control click. Control click. No. Okay. Um, let's. Can I uncraft it? I can take that out and leave that in. Okay, so that and that goes together to make that. That's right. Now it's got energy. It's got the right to remote ID. And I can go click. And where's my stuff? Where's the stuff? It's remote linked to that. That's got stuff in. That's ID 12. That's remote linked to remote ID 12. Why can't I access it? Um, okay, well, 
I don't know why that doesn't work. I have no idea why that doesn't work. Let's see if I can get this one to work. Let's take this storage out. Go over to this storage thing, right? Get this remote storage unit over here linked to that storage content. Cross dimension enabled as well. Okay, so this is now storage 13. So this is 13. That is storage 13. Maybe if I put that in there and then do this and then that's there and then I've got this and then I go like this and I access the stuff that's in there. Okay. Right. <clears throat> okay. Now I'm beginning to understand. So that is remote storage that gets powered up. That's where things go. But I access them through this tablet. So can I go anywhere with this tablet? Can I go anywhere at all and access my inventory of crafting ingredients? Because that might be pretty epic, actually. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. Oh, my days. Okay. So that is actually better than that little storage thing that I had. There was me hoping to set up a storage network where I could actually have things that I accessed on the wall. And I actually, actually, actually only need this block here. And I can put loads of different, store, well, four different storage cards in and store the stuff in those cards. I can even have it so this accessible cross dimension and have these little tablets with RF energy in just letting me access my entire stockpile whenever I want. That's pretty cool, don't you think? I think that's pretty cool. Uh, I do believe, though, that is all I've got time for in today's episode. I'm actually preparing to go on a holiday very soon. So at the end of this week, I've got to have a load of videos ready for you for the week that I'm on holiday, just to try and prepare ahead. So I'm sorry if this episode is a little bit disjointed, but we were figuring out these stories today, and I think we figured out what it can't do. That is for sure. We may have also figured out something quite cool for my crafting and remote storage from just about anywhere and everywhere. I can now craft, which is actually quite epic, isn't it? Yes. I think it, I think it could be really epic. I'm going to play around with it a little bit more, and I will see you in the next episode of Avant 3 on the FTOG server. Until then, goodbye.